Today's video is brought to you by Kinsta. In this video, I'm going to show you to clone and or paraphrase any website using an app called lovable.dev. It's super slick. It's super easy to use. I think you're going to love it. And it's just the beginning of what AI is going to be able to do. And I'm going to show you how to use the free account in this video. I have to do it over multiple days because the free account only allows so many credits per day, but it's still free. And the paid account prices are reasonable and then you can have much more flexibility in your development. Hi, I'm Bjorn from WP Learning Lab. And before we start, a quick word from the sponsor of this video. With Kinsta's lightning fast infrastructure powered by Google Cloud, your site loads in a flash. It stays stable, even under heavy traffic. Enjoy automatic daily backups, free malware removal, a global CDN, and 24-7 support from real WordPress experts, plus a custom Cloudflare integration. Kinsta's intuitive dashboard makes managing sites easy, even for teams. Whether you're running a WooCommerce store, client sites, or a growing blog, Kinsta has your back. Want to try hosting that works and works fast? Try Kinsta today. Click the link in the description down below. This is a website we're going to use to clone a website, and I think you're going to be really impressed. A year ago, this tech wasn't that great, but now it's pretty awesome. So all we have to do is enter a prompt here, like for example, please clone this website, and then add a website URL. You can also import from Figma. You can attach an image. You can set it to public or private. You can use Superbase. Not quite sure what that is, but maybe that's an organization system that Lovable uses. I'm using just the free account of Lovable. You can sign up for a free one yourself. Give it a go. You get five credits per day. They reset at midnight. And a credit is at least cloning a website. And then you can also talk to the AI a little bit to refine your clone. Then your credit's going to run out pretty quick after that. But five per day is enough to get started because it saves your project. You can come back to it and work on it later. To get started, we have to add a URL. So let's go to this page here. This is the Astra templates. And I want to choose this one right here to clone because it's pretty complex. And by that, I mean mostly the images. We also have the header turning into a drop down menu that comes with you that's sticky these cool images, some testimonial type stuff. We have images of people with stats overlaid. That'll be tough to clone, I think. We're gonna see in just a minute how well it does it. So let's grab the URL from up here, go back into Lovable, paste it, hit enter, and now it should take two, three, five minutes to clone that page. And then on the left-hand side, we can chat with Lovable's AI to refine the clone, which is pretty cool. For now, it's just gonna tell us what it's doing and the progress it makes. And I'll come back once this is all done. It's all done. We're gonna take a look at what it looks like on the right-hand side. But first I wanna show you in the left, it's basically thinking out loud the entire time it's working on the design, which is pretty neat. So you can see all the logic and decisions it makes as it goes. And you'll notice it's not an exact clone. So maybe saying it's a clone is kind of a misnomer for this video, but it's pretty darn close. So if we go to the original, we go to the top of the page, we've got our headline, subheadline, pre-headline, button, and a dashboard image popping up here and a menu system at the top. And here on the clone or clone-ish, we've got the exact same thing, menu system, pre-headline, headline, subheadline, sub button, and a dashboard popping up. But I, I think the reason they don't clone it exactly is because they don't want to get in trouble for copyright issues. Because you could go to anybody's website. You go to Apple's homepage, Microsoft, Google. Google's pretty easy, the homepage anyway. There's a search bar. But you can go to any website and just clone the thing, right? So it, 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 I, I feel like it has the capability to do it, but it doesn't do it on purpose. So here we have a dashboard example. You'd have to refine this because this is all gibberish but it's a nice placeholder for you to show the actual dashboard of whatever app you're using. And we have our social proof here, testimonials, same as the other one. In fact, let's just do this side by side. I'm gonna click on this button to preview this in a new tab. So we have the original on the left and the copy on the right. And you'll notice those, now that you see them side by side, they look pretty darn similar. There's little spacing differences, padding differences, responsiveness, although not in that case, I thought it might have been compressed here for responsiveness, but it's not. But either way, they're pretty darn similar. Scroll down here, 
to the next section. Got our social proof area, headline, a little bit of text. We have this data table or data columns for the original. Here's the version Lovable made, and I like Lovable's better. I think it looks cooler than this one over here. And that's the end of the page. Didn't do the rest. Maybe I ran out of credits. I was hoping to see this image right here being duplicated. Let's see if we can still get that. I think I still have one credit left, one free credit remaining. So maybe that's not enough to do the full page, which is unfortunate. In fact, you know what? I'm just gonna wait until tomorrow when we get our credit reset for five more credits. And I'm gonna ask Lovable to finish cloning this website and see if it does it, see if it continues on where it left off. And then hopefully we get to see how it handles these kinds of images, which I think were pretty tricky. But I feel like from what I've seen so far, Lovable might be able to make it work. So it's the next day. I have five credits again, as you can see right there. It reset last night. So let's try to continue on with what we're working on here. Hopefully I can just say, please continue cloning the site or the page, and it will do that. Let's try it. It's thinking, it's thinking. It says I'll continue building the remaining sections. That's promising. I'll just pause this video while it's working through this and then hopefully we'll be able to see the rest of it. Okay, it said it's done. Made eight edits, used five tools, or I guess five different types of, never mind, five tools, whatever that means internally for lovable. And here's what it created. Let's scroll down, check it out. I think it looks pretty good. I think someone could get paid a couple thousand dollars to make this website that we just made with AI. It took two days because it ran out of credits, but if you had the paid account, it would go a lot faster. So let's compare this again to the original that we're copying. So here's our new one, and here's the other one. Scroll up, there we are side by side. I was hoping it would make these images, but it skipped over those, glossed over them. Everything you need to turn clients or clicks into clients, everything you need to scale your lead generation. So it even paraphrases the text so it's not exactly copied. And here we have six points that it created. And over here we have three points, which I'm sure will match up to three of these. And then there's seven. So in, the, in this regard, the original is better with all the imagery and dashboards and stats and stuff. But the one on the left is still pretty solid. Pricing table. The original does not have a pricing table, so we added that in. It's got the FAQs, which are actual usable accordions, which is pretty cool. So here we have the first version of the cloned site. I'd say it's pretty good. Not exactly cloned, but let's say paraphrased website that you can then tweak further. And what's nice is you can tweak it by talking to it, and you can specify specific sections to talk to it about. So if we scroll up a little bit and we say for these buttons here, we want it to be a clickable pop-up that gives more information. So I click on edit down here and I choose what I want to edit. Let's choose the whole div and ask for quick changes. Can you make this a clickable element that generates a pop-up with more information? I'm going to hit go, but I have 1.8 free credits left. So that might not be enough credits to make this work. If not, I'll come back tomorrow and finish it. Let's give it a try. Even if it just makes one of them for now, you get the idea. It would do the rest with more credits. So I'll pause this while it's thinking and we'll see what it does. It's all done. Shows we still have 0.5 credits remaining, so it might have worked. Let's give it a try. Whoa, look at that. Click on it and it does that. Let's do this on the full screen. Might be a little more fun this way. Let's zoom in. So if I click on this, AI powered lead scoring, advanced machine learning, detail features. So this paragraph here appears to be this paragraph right there, but then there's more information added right there. Let's see if smart targeting system has its own pop-up. It does. They all do. That's pretty slick. If you were to, to create this, even with a page builder like Elementor, it still takes a bit of time. It's not like I can just say, Hey you, can you make this a pop-up? And it does it. 
whereas Lovable does do that. That's pretty amazing. That's pretty amazing. In fact, I'm going to come back tomorrow to see what other edits we can make to see if we can force it to, not force it, but recommend and suggest that it creates these images as well. And I'm going to ask it to maybe make an animation. So maybe with fire credits, we can do those two things. I'll come back tomorrow to give that a go. So I'm back again on a new day with less hair. Let's keep on working on this. It'd be way more convenient to have an account with lots of credits, but this still works. So I'm going to try to make this picture here. I'm going to do it a little bit differently. I'm going to take a screenshot of the picture. Then I'm going to upload that screenshot to Lovable. Let's see if I can drag and drop it. I can. Okay. So I'm drag and drop in the screenshot here. If the screenshot's on your hard drive, just click the plus, click on attach, and then find it on your hard drive. And then I'm going to ask, can you create an image like this and incorporate it in the best spot on the website? Let's see what it does. So it did something here. I think I have to press the approve button to make this happen. Maybe it uses lots of credits or something. So I'll press approve and then we'll see what it comes up with. It says here, created a professional dashboard mock-up. Even though it's not what I was looking for, I was looking for this picture here. It's not a dashboard. This is the dashboard mock-up, I'd say. If I click on here, does it take us right to it? It doesn't really. Let's scroll. Can't see that image. So it has some trouble making this image for sure. And that used some credits, I assume. They used 0.9 credits. And I think it all it did was update this, even though we had one already. So that didn't go too well. I have to do some experimentation with image creation. Let's try creating and adding an animation. I'm going to this time click on edit and select the div for the header and ask for an animation in the background. Can you create and add an animation to the background of this div? See what happens now. It says it's done. It says it added a floating orb animation and moving gradient waves to the hero container background. Let's check this out full screen. And I think that's the floating orb right there. I can, I can barely tell. Where's the animated gradient? There's a light spot right there. Is it moving? You can see a line over here of a gradient. So there is a, a moving gradient because there's a, a background color that you can see. You can see it on the left now. So this, the center piece has some kind of a background color. You can see it again on the right. Uh, but it's it's very subtle. Luckily, you can ask it to change colors. I'm going to ask it to add more contrast to the colors so the animation is more visible. So it says here, the floating orbs now have 25 to 50% opacity instead of 10 to 20%, and the gradient waves use 15 to 20% opacity with higher overall visibility. Let's see if that's true. Let's refresh. This orb is definitely more visible, and you can see that, that line much more clearly. We have to ask it to remove the background color of this div right here to make the gradient in the back work better. You can see it moving down here. You can see the moving gradients. So it's definitely doing what we want, but there's a lot of back and forth to get it exactly right. Whereas if you know what you're doing with a page builder, you can just pop in and be able to bing, bing, bing and be done. But the amount of time it took to create this is really short compared to a regular page builder. And converting this design to a WordPress theme, you can do it two different ways. You can do it manually. You have to have some skills to make that happen, but you can also use a headless version of WordPress and WordPress acts as the CMS and Lovable is the front end of the website. You can do that as well. Maybe I'll make a follow-up video on how to make that happen in the future, but that would definitely make your site designing a whole lot faster and a whole lot easier. 
And as of right now, there's no native integration to WordPress where I can just click on publish inside Lovable and have it just appear as a WordPress site, but maybe they'll be adding that in the future. That would make this even easier. If you like this video, make sure you click subscribe and hit the like button to let me know. And then check out this video on the screen right now. It's going to help you speed up your websites which is super important for SEO and getting traffic to your sites and happy users. So make sure you check out that video on the screen right now.